Joker, Edgar Rodriguez, everybody. <laughs> It's been kind of a long night. Uh, my friends have got me drinking water now. I'm that guy. They're like, Edgar, you really need to drink water. Not good. Not good. Not good. How are you guys feeling tonight? Me too. Me too. It's not like a New Yorker to ask other New Yorkers how they're feeling. Because we already know how we're feeling bitter and angry because the tourists in front of us took two hours looking at a McDonald's because it had a second floor. <laughs> really? Really? Tourists? Really? I love tourists, I do. I work at Starbucks, so uh, yeah. I do with No, don't do that. <laughs> Stop that right now. Not a, not a, not a thing. Uh, I'll talk to you after that, after me and my shrink finish talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> the best part about working at Starbucks, though, is the strippers that wait outside at 5 o'clock in the morning to get coffee. And they have a strip club across the street. They come over. Seriously, they're waiting outside the door for me to open the door. <laughs> With their stiletto fucking pink heels on. <laughs> I just need to zombie out. <laughs> I'm like, stripper, is coffee really what you need at 5 o'clock in the morning? <laughs> I'm thinking you need a shower, some sleep. <laughs> Maybe some food, a father figure, perhaps. <laughs> I don't know what you need, stripper, but if I was a stripper, that's, uh, that's what I would need. <laughs> I uh, was born in Brooklyn. Anybody from Brooklyn? Woo! Yeah, it's usually a small crowd. Yeah. Man, Brooklyn doesn't come out here too much. <laughs> but the fucked up thing is that my family, at the age of seven, moved me to Florida to raise me. And, and I'm not talking about like Miami's like Florida. I'm talking about like out west swamps like Everglades, South Florida. <laughs> yeah, so imagine me, I'm like seven years old, I've already developed a vocabulary. I've already developed a vocabulary. And here I am, in the middle of fucking nowhere, South Florida, saying things like audacity and sugar and water. <laughs> what a way to fuck a kid up. I was captain of the football team. I wasn't. I wasn't even a cheerleader. Um, whatever. And then you would think you would find support from home, from your family members. No, it doesn't happen when you're the whitest and youngest member of a Dominican family of three. <laughs> It doesn't, I heard a woo. Is that get over there? No. I'll see you later. No. It doesn't happen. If you can imagine my siblings, my brother, my brother is a huge, dark, complete opposite of me. Dude with a, a, a tattoo on his back that says Street Disciple. And he had to do that, I mean, you know, just to prove that he was hood. Yeah. Except the problem is that he spelled it wrong the first time. I said, boy, there's a C in Disciple. So now you're just a street disciple. <laughs> uh, it's, uh, it's not that intimidating. Not that intimidating. <laughs> so the way that I got away from all that torment and uh, all that lack of exception is uh, I found refuge in my ghetto down south black girls. <laughs> Uh, that's not what I expected to happen. I don't know where to go from here. I did, I did. I love them. They're a different breed of black girl, though. It's not like the ones that are up here that you know that are educated. They go to Yale and Harvard. It's not that kind of black girl. No, no. This, these bitches don't go to college. These bitches have their baby daddy names tattooed on her stomach. Yeah. Do you understand? These bitches do double dutch outside a check cashing store and flip flops while they're pregnant. <laughs> These bitches. Uh, no. And of course, uh, every gay man wants to be that, that ghetto black girl at the DMV. Any gay men in the audience? Didn't think so. Didn't think so. Don't worry about it. I'll pull you up So, <laughs> Sir. <laughs> Every gay guy wants to be the ghetto black girl at the DMV. 
Excuse me, sir. Over there in line 34, could you please step down to line B? Could you please step down to line B? Uh, yeah, I just, uh, I need to reinstate my license if you could help me out with that. Okay. And? Uh, well, I have one for one, two, and three here. Uh, I was told that's all I needed. <laughs> Point. I'm just saying words. <laughs> Excuse me, ma'am. I, I, I just need to reinstate my license. I, I just need to. Jacques Renee, girl. Hold on. Hold on. Excuse me, sir. I do, not want, I do not know what the standards of manners are wherever you are from, sir. <laughs> wherever it is that you are from, sir. <laughs> Only in the county DMV, we do not interrupt when somebody's talking on the phone. <laughs> I'm sorry, Dr. Conegra. He just, he just don't want to have an egg. He just, he does not know when to stop talking about his business. I need to ask you that. Okay, one last thing. So, anybody in here have kids? Yeah. 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 I don't know. I took a look outside. I don't think all y'all motherfuckers have kids. <laughs> So I found out the way, you know how you have this battle between, you have to figure out who's to blame, either the kids or the parents for the bad behavior, right? Yeah, like maybe the kid's just born like that, maybe the parent just isn't trying hard enough, you know what I mean? So I figured out, the best option is to beat the parents with the kids, then they'll the both be good, no? Yes, and on that soft note, <laughs> Edgar Rodriguez, have a good one.